hi welcome back to another video we are going to do a poly gel set today with this kit um this was sent to me by a lovely lady called dawn and her son alan uh she was really kind and gifted me uh this macart kit which is called sweet cravings so thank you very much dawn it's the first time i've used it so um yeah please be kind i'm not a poly gel person but I'm going to have a damn good go. <laughs> right, it's a collaboration between myself and Unpolished by Aggie. So I'm going to leave Aggie's link to her video in the uh, comments pinned at the top. Okay. Uh, right, in it you get some dual forms. And you also get uh, a little bag of charms which have got donuts and ice creams and ice lollies in there i wasn't sure what i was going to use so i was just like i thought i'd show you what's in the kit uh you get a file which is 100 180 grit your nail lab in a box you also get a lovely gel brush which i will keep as new I've already got one on the go at the moment and it's got a spatula the other end and a brush one end. You also get a top coat, a base coat and you get four colours. Well you do when I can get them out of the box. These colours are so nice I tell you. So we're going to swatch them quickly on um, that little white. Now, it took me a while to get the tops off. <laughs> I'm useless with these things. I am. Right, so the first one up is called Creme Brulee. Now, what I didn't know when I first put, put that bit out is it's pearlescent. It's so nice. The colour, oh, is unbelievable. Once I've got all the colours on there, I'll show you a close-up. So the second one is icing, which is a pink colour. Oh, that first one's like a, almost like a peachy, creamy colour, not yellowy, if you know what I mean. Uh, this one is like a nice baby pink. It's beautiful. And yes, that's me saying beautiful to pink, I know. I'm so sorry if there's noise in the background, the washing machine is on and I'm in the bedroom doing a voiceover but all I can hear is the damn washing machine so I'm hoping it's not too noisy uh, right this one is called cake this is like the lightest colour out of all of them it is literally a cake colour and then the last one is called frosting and it's a green colour uh, this is the colour I actually decide on using. It's so, so pretty. Oh, look, they're so beautiful. Actually, that first one on camera looks quite yellow, doesn't it? But it's actually not. It's more of a, like a peach colour. But anyway, because those tubes aren't massive, they never are in the kits, I thought I'd do the nail, some of the nail beds with this other McCart colour, which is called Puce. This one was on offer a while ago, so I picked it up really quickly. I went over and grabbed it while I could. And it was rock solid. Now, a good way of softening up your poly gels, so I found, I've got a, a heat tool, which is meant to be for embossing on like paper stock and that. And I just put my heat gun on it, just put, put it on the tube for a, a few seconds, turn the tube over, do the other side, and yeah, it softened it right up. 
the other thing you can do is make sure the top's on properly but um pop the tube in some warm water which should soften your poly gel up or if you have the heating on chuck it on the radiator for five minutes just don't forget it's on there though so the minute it goes warm it will you've got to watch you don't make it too warm so it ends up like falling off the nail that is so pretty though i love it absolutely love those colors couldn't stop looking at them <laughs> right anyway let's get on with the set um i've popped in some full cover tips in my uh little hand that is the red iguana hand i almost used my flexi hand and then i changed my mind at the last second and thought no i'll use this one so these have actually got an apex on them already because they're full cover tips uh they're the ones what are in my uh haul i think it was last week or the week before um so they have actually got an apex on them so i didn't have to build that much of a, an apex on them which was good but anyway let's get on with it i was having a bad day as well when i was doing this <laughs> i warn you now so anyway we are going to go in with some of that puce colour. Um, I put far too much on first of all. So I made a balls up there. Um, as I started pulling it and patting it down. I was thinking oh my god there is way too much on there. Then I thought what shall I do? Shall I do a, a rounded nail bed? So I started off doing a rounded one. And then I decided no i'm going to carry on pulling it down and i'm going to go into a point because i thought the point would look quite nice with the stiletto nail and then i changed my mind again and i decided no i don't like that so i ended up eventually in a minute <laughs> taking some off there I go. Don't like it. Get rid of it. <laughs> and then I decided to keep it as a like an almond shaped uh, nail bed. So oh, that's just me, isn't it? I have no plan, and I just fly by the seat of my pants, so to speak. I hadn't got a clue what I was doing until I went and done it. So anyway, I've jumped ahead a little bit because obviously this video is long anyway. So what I'm going to do is I've already done the little finger and I have, I think, did I put the nail back in? I don't know if I did or not. But I removed that nail and I actually, um, yeah, filed it. That's what I'm thinking. And that, oh God, and this one was going even worse. Oh, my life. It, it it was just one of them days, it was. I did this yesterday and just look at the state of it. Thank God for filing. That's all I can say. If we didn't have files, I'd be seriously screwed. <laughs> oh dear. I've decided I hate poly gel. Give me acrylic or gel any day <laughs> but anyway i jumped ahead and i've already done the other nail bed on the middle finger and on the pointer i've already done a full cover of frosting so it's just this one to do and once this one is done i am going to wipe the tacky layer off it once it's cured and then i'm going to do a little bit of filing I'm like, oh, thank God for files. <laughs> so we're going to try and get it back into a normal looking nail. Oh, terrible. I can't believe it. Now, this video is sped up quite a lot. I think my video before I edited it was about 49 minutes. That's how long it took me to do four nails. 
Oh, I can. I'm usually about between half an hour and forty minutes. So I knew I was having a bad day yesterday, and yeah, being as it took so long. But anyway, I've actually gone in because I, I was fed up of filing by this time, and I knew I'd got loads more to do. But I actually went in with a hundred grit file. And filed the shit out of it. <laughs> to try and get it back to that shape. <laughs> Which I did in the end. Oh God. I think this is going to be a comedy set I'm afraid. Right. On to the next bit. Um, the colour I'm putting on at the moment is a Venalisa colour. And obviously it's a nice bright green. It's number 79. I'm going to go right up the wall of that uh, free edge and then we're going to fill the rest in with the brush. Make it quicker. I'm going to do the same on the middle finger and then I'm going to pop them in the lamp to cure. Ta-da! Uh, I pulled this glitter out. It is from Twinkle Claws and it is called Ariel. I'm going to go in with a bit of base coat again. And then I'm just going to use the detail brush just to pick a few smaller bits up. Um, I also use my gem picker up as well because uh, the weight of the larger pieces, it just weren't picking it up. So I was getting fed up in the end. So I got the gem, the gem picker up or out and I thought, right, it's going, going full force with it. So we're just going to cover uh, literally the whole of that free edge of that nail. There was some nice uh, like mirror pieces in there, like some silver mirror pieces, and I thought they'd look quite nice actually. So I was trying to pick them out. And then I'm going to do the same on the other finger. And while that's happening, I'm going to take a quick swig of Ribena, my drink of choice. I'm not quite sure why I left the second one in, actually. I could have just left one of them in to cut it down a bit. I can't believe I'm going to put an 18 minute video out just for a set of nails. I'm shocked. Shocked to the core. <laughs> anyway, that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds to cure. Uh, then I've pulled out my uh, Gelux gel. Uh, it's um, hard gel. Even though these did have an apex on them, there was like a couple of them that were not as much as what I would have liked. So even my gel wasn't playing ball yesterday. I could have I could have threw it out the window. I could I really could have threw it out the window. In fact I could have thrown the whole hand out the window. But anyway, once I popped that gel on, tipped it upside down and managed to get the gel back to the middle of the nail instead of off the edge. Luckily none dripped off. Uh, pop that in the lamp and then I've just put that to the side for filing. Just going to fill in that, uh, that glitter end of that nail and I think I, I put a little bit over the nail bed as well. Yeah I did. Ta-da! Jump forward and I have filed off camera, losing the will to live. Um, I'm going to use this pink, it's a rubber base coat from Madame Glam. Um, so it's quite thick viscosity, so it shouldn't run anywhere, so I thought. So I'm just going to go along that cuticle and then... Sorry, dog's barking. 
I do apologise. It's one of those days again. So, yes. Just going to put a few drips on there of that uh, rubber base and along the cuticle. Almost like dripping icing off a cake. And then no sprinkles have come from AliExpress. They were cheap as chips and you get a big bag. Um... The rubber base is called Malaysia, if you want to know that one. Um, I've left them as they are. I've cured it, so I'm, I'm going to top coat over it, but I've left them for the time being like that. I've just popped a few bubble gems um, at the top of the little finger, just with some normal gem glue. And then I've got this little rabbit charm from... Sheehan and I'm just going to pop that on uh, the middle finger with some stronger gem glue they have been cured uh, and now we're just going to go in with the top coat but what I actually do is I'm going to top coat two middle ones and then pop it in the lamp then I'm going to matte top coat the two icing nails but I only want the green bit to be uh, matte. I want the icing to be shiny. So I do go over the shiny after with some shiny top coat. So I'm going to go in with a matte now. I got fed up in the end and just thought, sod it, let's do it with a brush. It was about half past nine by this point. So I just like, oh, I ripped my hair out. But anyway, we're not far away from the end. Yee! Um, right. Thank you, Dawn, for this set. I do absolutely love the colours in it. It's amazing. I will persevere with polygel. I'll crack it one day. I will. <laughs> it's because I just don't do it often enough. But anyway, don't forget to pop over and watch Aggie's video if you've not already. And I'm going to leave Dawn's uh instagram link please do go and follow her and leave aggie's link and thank you ever so much for watching if you've persevered to the end i'm going to leave you a couple of photos and don't forget to like and subscribe please thank you and that is it bye